is the transgression of the law. And there is only one person that can deliver us. Your name cannot deliver you. Your stature cannot deliver you. The name of your church cannot deliver you. And your rituals cannot deliver you. And your sacrifices cannot deliver you. And your religiosity cannot deliver you. Look at verse 5. But we know, and ye know, that he, Christ, was manifested to take away our sins. He is the only one manifested. He is the only one sent by the Father from heaven to take away our sin. Tonight is your night. Yeah. I said tonight is your night. Yeah. If you will be sincere, if you will be honest, if you will look at the Lord and say, Lord, I know you're my Savior, you're my Redeemer. I know I cannot save myself. And my religious ceremonies cannot save me, you, and you alone, thou, and thou alone must save. If you are that sincere and honest tonight, it will save you. Yeah. And in him is no sin. It will disengage you from sin. It will save you from all your sin in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Point number two now, in point number two, deliverance from the strong and sneering strangers. The strangers that come sometimes in a community, they were not there before. And then you begin to see them, they look strange, their movement strange, their language strange, their activity strange. And then if you keep quiet and fold your arm and close your mouth, and the strangers now have easy going activity, eventually destruction comes. In our lives, there are strange elements that come in and they stroll in. And as we allow those strangers and those strange elements, ensnaring strangers and strong strangers, and they come in into our lives, into our families, they do evil. But now, Christ has come. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. When you cannot identify those strangers, Christ, the Savior, Christ, the Redeemer, Christ, the destroyer of every evil sin. He can identify them. It will destroy them out of your life. Sometimes those strangers, they bring sickness that even the hospital x-ray machine cannot detect and they say you are well you say no i'm not well they say you are all right you say no i'm not all right they cannot detect those strangers with their machine but now the lord almighty will detect them he'll flush them out tonight every strange personality every strange power Every strange evil thing, every strange poison, poisoning your system from the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Tonight, the Lord will get them out of your life in Jesus' name. Look at Jeremiah chapter 15. In Jeremiah chapter 15, I'm reading from verse 20 there. It says, And I will make thee unto this people a face breathing warm. warm. And, and they, they shall, shall fight, fight the strangers, strangers against thee, but, but it shall not prevail. prevail. Yeah. They shall not prevail against thee. Yeah. For I am with thee. That's Emmanuel. God with us. I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, says the Lord. Look at verse 21 there in verse 21 and I will deliver thee out of the hands of the wicked. That's all the amen you have. 
the Lord tonight by his power the Lord tonight in his grace glory and majesty I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible yeah. look at Isaiah chapter 50 chapter 54 Isaiah chapter 54 I'm reading from verse 17 it says in verse 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper yeah. Those strange elements and those strange personalities, they have strange weapon, strange invisible weapon that will destroy anybody's life. But as you come to Christ tonight and you say, Lord, I confess and Lord, I forsake and Lord, I give myself unreservedly, wholeheartedly unto you, my Savior, my Lord, my Redeemer, my Deliverer, and the one that comes to give me the victory, and the one that conquers for me, as you tell the Lord tonight, I come with unreserved attitude. The Lord himself will destroy all those weapons of the enemy out of your life in Jesus' name. And no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord, the Lord Almighty. Somebody should have shouted, Amen. Amen. Galatians chapter 1, I'm reading from verse 4. Galatians chapter 1, we're looking at verse 4. Who gave himself for our sins? He gave himself, remember now, that barrier, that wall of demarcation built by the blocks, by the bricks of our sin. That is now standing, standing firm. As if no power on earth and no power of a human being can push that wall down. Christ has come. He gave himself for our sin that he might deliver us from the present evil world. Tonight is your night. Yeah. As you turn away from that sin, as you embrace the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, he has come to deliver you from this present evil world according to the will of God our Father. My time has come. My time has come. Time of deliverance. Amen. Time of dominion. Amen. Time of healing. Amen. Time of miracle. Amen. Tonight, as you link up with the Lord and all those walls of iniquity, they come down and they fall down. That power will work in your life. I come to point number three now. Point number three, dominion over sicknesses and evil spirits. Dominion. Somebody shout dominion. dominion. Total dominion. Shout it out. Dominion. Complete dominion. Shout it out. Dominion. Present dominion. Shout it out. Dominion. Perpetual dominion. Shout it out. Dominion. Everlasting dominion. Shout it out. It comes to give us dominion. You know, sometimes when people come to you and they give you something and they say this will shield you from every evil and from every attack. If it is coming from man, the shield is as strong as the man that gave it to you. The shield is as weak as the man or the woman that gave it to you. And maybe there's one papa somewhere and then he's in the villages, you know, before the shrine and all that. And he gives you this and he says, 
I'm giving you this and this charcoal will be your dominion. It will shield you, my friend. That shield is as weak as that papa himself. Look at him. Look at his life. Look at his family. All that he gives you will be as weak as any athlete. He can be weak. But when Christ himself, the Lord of heaven and the Lord of earth, when Christ himself, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, when Christ himself that came to destroy and to demolish and to overthrow everything belonging to the devil, he has the highest heavenly power to destroy any high sin in your life. When he gives you dominion, that dominion will stand everywhere. <laughs> dominion over sicknesses and evil spirits. And that is what the Lord has come to do and has come to give um, any sickness in your life, any infirmity in your life that has had dominion over your life, even until this day, all that sickness, everything will vanish away tonight in Jesus' name. The blindness that blocks your way, you cannot see the next person. That blindness is the wall the Lord will throw it down tonight. Yeah. That paralysis that has incapacitated you, paralyzed you, and gotten you there, bedridden tonight, the Lord will raise you up in Jesus' name. Because he is the one that comes to give us dominion over every sickness and over every evil spirit how does he do that matthew chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 16 matthew chapter 8 verse 16 when the evening was come they brought unto him many that had that were possessed with evil spirits and he cast out the spirits with his word no evil spirit can resist, can overcome, can say no to the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the word that created heavens and the earth. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only will drive away every sickness out of your body tonight. When the evening was come, like this evening, Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever, over here in the Alpha location, the world will have power. Over there, radio or television, the watch will have power. Over there, on the social media, the watch will have power. And this moment and this evening, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all, and healed all. How many did he heal? How many can he heal today? How many does he heal? It's not doing it just because of me or just because of you. It's doing it because sickness is an enemy unto him. Infirmity is an enemy unto him, and is a stranger unto him. And anywhere he discovers that sickness, that stranger, that evil appearance, if you are not covering it up, if you are not protecting it, if you are not embracing it, if you are not saying, it is mine, my cancer, it is mine, my ulcer, it is mine, my blindness, it is mine, my paralysis. If you are not holding on to it and you say, I expose it, I expose it to the Lord, the Lord will give you dominion tonight. Because it says, he healed all them that was sick over there on my right hand 
here in front of me and over there on this good side of me the lord will destroy every sickness and every disease out of your life in jesus name but why 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 verse 17 look at verse 17 that it might be fulfilled that it might be fulfilled that it might be fulfilled you know everything jesus did he didn't do it because of the atmosphere in that place he didn't do it because of the situation in that place he did it that it might be fulfilled behold a child is born behold a son is given and he came born of a virgin that it may be fulfilled and you'll call his name Emmanuel God with us and he came as Emmanuel not because of your feeling not because of what you think or feel when he came to deliver when he came to take your sickness and your infirmity away like I will do tonight I said like he will do tonight. He came to be a fulfillment of the prophecy that had been given that it may be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying himself, look at that, he himself took away our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. If you present your infirmity, your blindness, your lameness, your incurable disease, your cancer, if you present it to the Lord tonight, it will take everything away. Yeah. Look at Mark chapter 5, chapter 2, verse 5. Mark chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 5. When Jesus saw their faith, when he saw that they came, they came by faith. When he saw, they went to the rooftop and removed the tile and brought the man in front of Jesus he saw their faith when he saw their expression that they knew and they said in their heart today tonight his power will heal this man that's your faith and as you come tonight expecting he will I said he will when Jesus saw their faith he said unto the sick of the palsies, son that sins be forgiven thee. Have you noticed what Christ has done there? He took step number one, the forgiveness of sin, the salvation from sin, the destruction of sin, the pulling down of the wall of demarcation erected with your sin. He pulls that down, son, daughter, thy sins be forgiven thee and then after that if he does number one he doesn't stop there he goes to number two in your life he will do number one yeah. and then he will not stop there he will go to number two yeah. look at verse 10 in verse 10 but that he may know that the son of man has power on earth to forgive sins it says to the sick of the palsy, verse 11, it says, I say unto thee, arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. He was talking to a man that was paralyzed, a man that was lame, a man that had the impossibility of a debilitating sickness, and he spoke to that man, and it's what brought strength, it's what brought healing, it's what brought power, it's what tonight is still the same. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's what tonight will bring power into your life, will bring healing into your life, will bring deliverance into your life in Jesus' name. Take 
take up thy bed. And the man did not say, ah, you see, I'm so weak. I was carried here by four men. I cannot. Whatever Christ says you can do, you will do. Yeah. If he says, open your eyes, you will not say, I am blind. I cannot see. What he tells you you will do, you will do in Jesus' name. If he says, your broken bones are mended, rise up and walk, you will not say, no, I came in crutches. I cannot do that. What he says you will do, you will do in Jesus' name. If he says, stand up from that wheelchair, you will not say, but I cannot for all these months and all these years have been on the wheelchair. Once he says, do it, say, praise the Lord, I can Praise the Lord, I will. And then you put your intention into action and you rise up and the power of the Lord will meet you right there in Jesus' name. I say unto thee, particular, I say unto thee, if you have any infirmity there, if you have any sickness there, the Lord is talking to you directly. You have any sickness incurable, he's talking to you directly. And you have any weakness that appears to have been like that for many years, he's talking to you directly tonight. And what he says to do, you will do. I can. I can. I will. And then you put that intention, you put it into action. Arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. Look at verse 12. Verse 12, and immediately he arose. And immediately he arose. And immediately he arose. He went back home with testimony. I I, I will go back home with my testimony. Anywhere you are, you might be alone by yourself in your room and you are watching a day soul program on your handset there, or maybe on the television, or maybe social media, Facebook, anywhere you are, or in a congregation, anywhere. Tonight, the Lord is coming with power. You will go back home with miracle tonight in Jesus' name. And immediately he arose and he took up the bed, exactly what Christ had said. And he went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed and they glorified God saying, we never saw it on this fashion. Now your time has come. Yeah. Now my time has come. Time for salvation. Time for deliverance. Time for dominion. Time for healing. And time for miracle. My time has come. Your time is here already. I said your time is here already. It's about an eyes closed. It's about an eyes closed. Remember? There is this wall built by the blocks and the bricks and the cement of your sin that we must throw down now. And Christ has the power to throw down, to destroy, and to remove all that wall of demarcation, the wall of sin, out of your life. All you need to do is to confess and to forsake. And to say, Lord, I know you are able, and I am ready. I want all my sins to be taken away, so that the Lord will clear the way between you and his miracles. Are you ready? I'm asking a question. Are you ready? You will not cover up any sin. You will not embrace and keep and protect any sin. All that has built a strong wall of division, demarcation between you and the Lord, we're demolishing everything right now. It's bowed and eyes closed. You are ready for that. And you want the Lord to forgive your sin and take all those sins away. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. Remember, who will be the next, who will be the first. 
be the first man. Don't hesitate immediately. As he says, he wants to take the sin away. You raise up your hand anywhere you are now, in a definite sense, that you are not going to cover up the sin. You're going to forsake. You're going to confess and forsake. And you're going to tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I don't want any of this sin to remain, abide in my life anymore. Here. And the Lord will know that today you disengage from the past sins of your life. And you have the salvation from sin. You have that salvation now. Anywhere you are, you are raising up your hand. God bless you there. Thank you. God bless you. You are raising up your hand. You will stand up and indicate here I am, here I am, here I am. I want all these sins to be totally forgiven. Confess them to the Lord there and forsake them. Confess them and say, Lord, here they are. Expose them. Don't cover up and say, Lord, this is what I've been in the past. This is where I've gone in the past. This is what I've been drinking in the past. This is what I've been smoking in the past. And this is the dirty life I lived in the past. Expose, confess, and tell the Lord and say, Lord, by your grace, by your mercy, I forsake them. By your grace, by your power, I will not go that direction anymore. And the Lord will forgive you. Mercy will come to you. Salvation will come to you. Freedom will come to you. And then the joy of salvation will fill your heart. You will know I am a child of God now. Do that, do that. Confess, forsake, abandon. I will not go that direction anymore. Lord, forgive. Lord, save me. And you will. I'm going to pray with you now. Keep that hand up while you are standing up. And anywhere you are, any part of this country, any part of this continent, Africa, any part of any continent, anywhere, Raise up your hand and stand up there and believe right now that this is the moment of your salvation. Father, we thank you today. We come to you asking for mercy, asking for forgiveness for everyone that has sincerely, honestly confessed and forsaken their sin and they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ who died for every sinner on the cross of Calvary. And pray, no Lord, your mercy, your love, your compassion, forgive them in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray all the guilt, all the condemnation of sin and the damnation and the punishment, eternal suffering for sin, take away from every one of them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that tonight will be the night of their salvation. Confirm that salvation with joy. Confirm that salvation with peace of mind. Confirm that salvation with assurance in their heart. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I believe and I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. And those counselors will come to you now. They give you the paper to fill and all those details joyfully, happily, honestly, sincerely. You fill that paper. We'll call on whoever is moderating tonight to come and lead us in this counseling time. And then after that, I'll come for the second dose. And today, you have dominion deliverance over every sickness and infirmity in your life in Jesus' name. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen.